Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Minor League Esports. It is the playoffs, and we've got four great matchups for you tonight. My name is Keek Bite, and I'm here joined by Classy Weasel. How are you doing tonight, Classy? I'm doing mighty fine. About to get these started as well. We apologize for the uh, the delay. It's a little bit late, but we're going to get these underway right quick. Exactly. Now, what can you tell me about these two teams that we have going on here? This is the Champion League Pirates versus Hurricanes. Well, it's one of the few final quarterfinals matches that we've got going on. It's the number one seed in the Amber Division going against the number four seed in Topaz. Uh, the Pirates able to squeak in to that number one seed. They were tied with the Knights uh, as far as record went, but they beat the head-to-head, -head, which means they secure it. And they might have a little bit smoother sailing going from here on out, making it way through. But obviously, Hurricanes want to say something about that. They were able to make it in tied for third, but they were thrown down to fourth, losing their head-to-head. Still made it into the playoffs, so they're happy about that and ready to make a name for themselves here. It's a single elimination bracket, so this is last life for both of these teams, and they want to perform tonight. And uh, I don't know if we have the bracket on the screen yet. We might, but yeah, we have the bracket ready for you, too, so you can see what we're looking at here. The Tyrants and Knights have already made their way into the semifinals. Now we are waiting on the results of Pirates versus Hurricanes and Dodgers versus Outlaws. The Pirates versus Hurricanes you will see right here tonight. And uh, like you said, it's going to be an excellent matchup. But let's take a look at the field that we're playing on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Game number one of this best of five series, Pirates versus Hurricanes, and we're off to the races. Hurricanes start out with a nice offensive possession, but a bit of ping pong going on here. Hurricanes trying to get this out. Red follows the potato, sends it right back in looking for Red. Aether stops it from coming to center. Red. This is Champions oh. League right here. Everyone wants to start out strong. Getting the goal in the first minute probably is, is really what you want, but it seems like pressure and offensive opportunities coming out for Hurricane right here at the beginning. Yeah, they're kind of both getting their opportunities, aren't they? As the Pirates now, they're the ones on the offensive pressure trying to answer back to that quick shot on goal that the Hurricanes had on that transition. Ace Pocket gets a save there off of the good shot from Red, and now the Hurricanes are going to drive into the Pirates' side. Tater trying to pull off the defense in the corner, flips into Red. Red's off to the raises. He looks, he's looking to flip over Aether, and he's not going to get the shot on target, though. Ace Pocket going to send this one away. Seems like both these teams are they're kind of feeling each other out, getting uh, poking, I'd say, into each other's halves. Not overcommitting too much, making sure they can get back on anything you see right there. Tater not pushing over to the side, seeing Ace Pocket has it. And I think later on in this game, we're going to see some of these teams maybe go for those, try to push a little bit more aggressively into each other's halves and make some openings if they can't find it easily here. Yeah, and we already see that the Pirates have been trying to do that, kind of trying to grind a little bit against the Hurricane defense. But here we go. Aether's got a nice little carry. Tries to flick it over Ace Pocket, but Ace Pocket going to manage to get a hold of that and bring it away just for the moment. But Red trying to answer back. He's going to take the shot. Ace Pocket's going to send it away again. Yeah, we've already got three shots for the Pirates. None of them gone in quite yet, but all of them fairly threatening, as we saw earlier. Ace Pocket, if we get that pre-jump. And the flick not quite working out, but you know they're going to go back to that. Try it again. See if they can get some solo plays since these two plays aren't quite working off the corner. Exactly. And the Tater passes this in for Red, but Red isn't there. And it's going to get sent away by Ace Pocket. Red flicks this back in. Ace Pocket gets the save. Nice, ro de nice defensive rotations coming out for the Hurricanes here as the Pirates are putting on a nice amount of pressure. Tater's looking for a shot off the ceiling. He's not going to quite get there as Ace Pocket's going to send it away. And Aether now has a chance to dribble this upfield, but it can get sent away by Red again. Yeah, that's a, I'd say a wasted opportunity by the Hurricanes. They haven't been able to get out of their half very much. But as you can see, Ace Pocket, they got possession of it, could even have taken it slow there on the wall. But instead decides to clear it all the way on the other side. And with his teammate not ready to receive that pass, just give it right back over the Pirates, and now Black has possession. Yeah, the Hurricanes now, they're starting a little bit of an offensive stand here as they cut it off at the midfield. Aether sends one to the center, looking for his teammate, but chooses to take it himself. Now Ace Pocket going to come up, push this one on target, but Red sends it away. It was really slow, probably looking to follow it up with another touch, but was unable to get there. Aether cuts this one off, 
Red's looking for it, but Ace Pocket gonna send it away again into the pirate side. Quick opportunity for the Hurricanes here. If Ace Pocket can flip this over Tater, and he does, it's gonna go in. And there it is. We saw Tater trying to get the flick earlier today, and Ace Pocket would have none of it. And here we are. Ace Pocket gets the opportunity with the Dominus. Says, "Hey, you want to see a flick? I'm gonna show you how to do it." Right there, top bar. Enough speed to get past the defender, and that's gonna be the first goal for the Hurricanes and the series. What a way to start it off for the number four seed. Yeah, two minutes in, and we've had a battle back and forth so far. It's the first goal really late in the game. Is Aether's going to flick this one out looking for Ace Pocket, but Ace Pocket unwilling to come up and test for that as the Pirates were attacking, and Pirates going to attack uh, just a little bit more, and Tater's going to get the goal. I think Pirates realized they weren't being quite aggressive enough. Tater is trying to read this off the back wall. does it perfectly. Gets up there faster than the defender could and reads that off the backboard wonderfully. Pirates able to tie it up. They knew they needed to be a little more aggressive, and they come out swinging right there to get it tied up for them. Yeah, the Canes, like you said, they just kind of hesitated a little bit, and the Pirates heard that and took advantage. But ball once again on the Canes' side. Canes, again, hesitant to come after this one. At least Ace Pocket was. Aether, though, going to flip this one into the Pirates' corner. Tater gets the read off the wall. Let's flip it back out to Red, who, drizzled, who drives it upfield. But Ace Pocket going to be able to get there in time. Tries to put one on, but Red is there. And Aether, I would have thought Aether would have pushed that a little bit more. Ace Pocket trying to do it all himself. It's a team game. You're going to need both of your teammates to help you out there. I did get quite a few touches, but neither of them went down 2v1. You're usually not going to win that on the defensive side. So in this last minute, Hurricane's not seeing as many opportunities, so they're going to want to capitalize on as many as they get. And we are in golden goal territory here as we are one minute remaining. Tater gets a nice shot on target. Aether is there to put it away, and there's not going to be another read or another touch on that one. Lucky for the Hurricanes as they had no one back to guard against that. But now a double commit for the Pirates goes on. The Hurricanes looking to get a bounce back goal from this and base pocket unable to get one on target. But Aether is there to cover it. Aether sends it to center. Is Ace Pocket there to cover it? No, Tater is going to send it away. Yeah, just like that one to see another opportunity thrown into the center, either off the corner or maybe even an infield pass. But the pass is there and the follow-up isn't. You know, there's no one there to receive the pass in the middle, although they're getting it down on the black side and relieving pressure from their defense. It means that, that all these goals, all these goals that could be, I'd say, in these last minutes, which actually means the most, they're not making worth anything. And we might be seeing an overtime if Red can't get this shot. That, that was, one was nice close. Pass. Yeah, that was a beautiful pass coming out from Tater, but unfortunately Red wasn't there. And I hate, and I'm not really trying to pick on a player, but I will say is though it, it seems like Ace Pocket is just a little bit uncomfortable right now. He he, he keeps trying, to, he keeps hesitating a little bit, trying to let Aether do everything while he plays defense a little bit. But uh, I'm not sure how much that's going to work out for him. If if Ace Pocket can come up and really attack this ball like Aether does, the Hurricanes are going to be in much better position. Oh, definitely. You can play defensive. It's definitely is a strategy, but if you're not in the lead, Ace Pocket thought that one goal would be enough, but Pirates able to battle back. They need to get back in the offensive mindset. Keep on that pressure on the Pirates. Something like that might go through as the ball just hangs out in the black box in Ace Pocket. Like you said, he needs to be up there receiving those passes, helping out his teammate, and he does just that. Hearing your call, hearing the need, seeing the ball was just sitting there. And he finishes off perfectly. And the upset, the first gut game, goes to the Hurricanes. What upset call might be upset. forming. <laughs> upset might be forming. Not an upset yet to take a game. We kind of expected a game to come off of the Hurricanes. But I guarantee the rest of uh, the betters on the, well, not betters, but predictors on this one are not going to be happy about that one. Is 82.35% of our bracket pickers from MLE have the Pirates beating the Canes. So... They're starting to worry if that's uh, <laughs> about getting upset if uh, if that game went that way. Well, we definitely like to see Cinderella stories here, and in this case, Hurricanes seem to be building one. Uh, Pirates definitely uh, didn't look as strong as we've seen them throughout the season. I I like to see a lot more pressure than we've seen before. Hurricanes. I wouldn't say we're in complete control, but they definitely were getting more uh, opportunities. Pirates had possession, but they weren't making too many threatening shots, and and every shot except just one. Hurricanes was able to defend quite well. And, and if you keep it that low, keep it that defense rotation like Hurricanes were, you don't have to make a whole lot of offense working. They only made two goals, got it to overtime. Just enough is all they needed to take this game. And they can keep this going if Pirates don't become a little bit more aggressive in the next few games. Yeah, plus I noticed the Pirates were actually um, relying a lot more on the individual plays than the passing plays. So that might be something that they could improve on as well going into the next game. Because if they can get the passing play plays around the Canes very well, then they'll be in a much better spot. 
but here we go. Game number two, countdown about to start. There it is. Hurricanes, they can put themselves into a match point position with a win here, but the Pirates looking to take their first off. We're off to the races as Red's gonna already put one in. This is a cheat up right here by Red Tater. I don't know if you called this one out, but with the wave dash kickoff, you're able to stall it, and you know Red's gonna follow that one up every single time, try to win it first off game possession. But it's a shame that Ace Pocket wasn't able to get back in time to defend it too fast on the ground. And with two seconds in, Pirates find themselves in the lead. You know, quick strike from the Pirates, but here Aether's going to send one over into their corner. He's looking for the quick post in the corner. Aether sends it in front of net, but Ace Pocket again isn't there. Yep, hanging out at midfield. You can do that in 3v3. You always need that last man back, but if you want to make some goals happen, especially if you're down, finding an opportunity that easy to capitalize on isn't going to come by very often. So Ace Pocket needs to be pushing up a little bit more. Get his nerves. Get, get used to this kind of play because Pirates are going to push that and not leave that much time for you to get up and make a play like they did in overtime last game. Yeah, the Pirates definitely are defending a lot more against those open net opportunities. And Tater gets a nice drop-in pass for Red. Hurricane defense kind of breaking down a little bit here. Yeah, I would have thought Aether would have had this defense. Tater carrying it all the way, not to net, but to the backboard. With Aether chilling there on the backboard, I would have thought. A little bit defense, but Red, or rather Tater, carries it past him. And then the backboard uh, shot from Red, able to seal it out. And now Hurricane's looking down more than they've seen all series. Something that I'd say they expected coming into this. They knew Pirates was the better team, but they wanted to take one off of them. They did. This pressure might not last for long. As oh. a 50-50 win means Tater puts another one on for his team. Yeah, Tater gets a nice dunk here. Reading this save well off of Ace Pocket. Aether wasn't anywhere near able to get to that one as he was already pushing up as expecting Ace Pocket to win that 50-50. So the Pirates are going to go up 3-0 already with less than a minute elapsed and turning over a minute now. But the Hurricanes now, they have to apply some pressure and Aether's going to try and do that. Ace Pocket goes up for this pass off of Red, drops it into the corner. He's looking to get a center here, but Tater sends it away. Going to go up the wall. He's going to try and get one off the backboard. Red is center. But Aether is there to intercept that one. Tater is going for the shot. There it is. Seems like Ace Pocket should have been there to rotate, but instead gets bumped by the person that uh, Aether was thinking would follow up on this, which is why he made a touch. And then Tater is just able to do it all himself, gets the pass, and is like, hey, this ball just popped right out to me. And it seems like Aether is not ready to defend this far post. So I'm a, a fast one on net. And now only a minute and a half gone. And they're down by four. Definitely not the game they wanted. And nothing like the past one. Going to want to hit the reset button if they want to try to take this series and maybe even turn this game around. Yeah, mistakes coming out from both of the Canes on that defensive possession. But now they have the ball on the Pirates side, but the Pirates can clear it away in short order. Ace Pocket looking to keep this one out of center, and he will do that successfully. Tater's back and ready for this one, but Ace Pocket going to try and beat him there. He doesn't. Tater wins the 50-50. It's now back into the Hurricanes third. Aether sets it off the wall. Tater is there to receive that one. He's going to look for the double touch. No one gets it, and this is floating in here. Dangerous for the Canes, but Aether's going to send it away again. Looking for a return shot, but Red gets the save. Yeah, Aether, I'd say take that one a little bit slower next time. You got one person back. Yes, there is a defender hot on your tail, ready to demo you, but if you can get that on top of your hood, you've got a Dominus. That flick, like your teammate did earlier, is very possible, especially with only one person in the net. Ace pocket. Off the corner, looks for the ground pinch, not gonna get it as Red gets the save away. Aether tries to set this one onto the wall, Red unable to get the touch. Now it's gonna free up Tater to get a dribble across midfield, but Ace Pocket interferes. Red puts the save down as the Hurricanes are continuing to siege this down here, but Red gonna flick it away as one commits from the Hurricanes, no touch on that one. Aether is the only one back to defend this. Tater gets a neutral 50-50. Ace Pocket looking off the wall. He flicks it up, but that's still dangerous for the Hurricanes. Red sets this one right down into Aether, who gets a nice save. Well done by Aether. Staying patient, not wanting to pre-junt that, but staying grounded. Resulted in a save and kept it at four. Seems like the complete uh, just entourage of the Pirates just going into the green half over and over in the first minute and a half has seemed to cease just a little bit. Uh, they haven't scored anything ever since. I don't know if that's because Hurricanes have, have picked it up a little bit defensively and then pushed it in their half a little more. Or it's just 
Pirates says, okay, four goals is enough, let's slow it down a bit. But I don't think in playoffs you should ever slow it down. So Hurricanes actually find a little bit of defense there and making something happen. Hopefully they can transfer this into a game and, and maybe bring it back. Ooh. Oh, as I say it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've actually got to disagree on that, though. I think in playoffs is actually the perfect time to slow it down because if you know that you're on top, you can play a little bit more defensive because the win mean, means more in this series than it would in any other series that you play in the regular season. And goal differential means nothing. It's just getting that win that means everything. So I think right now that the Pirates can, in fact, uh, afford to slow down a little bit and play more defensively so they can make sure that their win is secure rather than trying to over push and get cocky and maybe lose a couple goals off of them or maybe even the Hurricanes tie it up. But very unlikely at this point, regardless. Right, you got, you got less than a minute left. Uh, at least five for the most part. Pirates have sealed it. I mean, anything can happen, of course. Uh, but at, at this point, Hurricanes want some morale and the Pirates just make sure they keep it at a shutout because there's nothing more demoralizing than getting scored a lot than not being able to counteract that with any goals of your own. Seems like Red's gonna put another one in here. Maybe a Brazil, we'll see. I don't know if you've seen any in the playoffs yet, but I love to see that 7-1. <laughs> I, I, I don't think we've seen any in the playoffs quite yet. This is only round one. And we might see one by the end, but you never know. The competition gets a lot more stringent here uh, in the next couple rounds. Here we go. Pirates win this kickoff. Aether is there to receive it though. Is Red gonna set this one right back in? Ping pong going on. Bounces off the corner, not interfered with anybody, so it gives a free shot to Red. Tater comes and takes a shot as well. Ace Pocket manages to save both of them. Now the Hurricanes are going to try and get this one out. Ace Pocket takes it up the wall. Tater's looking for the touch. He gets it. Aether's back, though, and he puts it off of Tater towards the Pirate net. That could be a long shot if Red doesn't get there, but he is, so. Six seconds left. Pirates looking to make sure they shut out the Canes in this game. Aether puts it down, looking for a shot on net. Hurricane's trying to get something to get their momentum going, but they won't succeed, and the Pirates will take game number two. I want to say that's not all surprising. Pirates take another game a little bit. The, the goal differential was a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, the the first game, super close. Not, not what uh, Pirates wanted to come out with, but this is definitely the turnaround that they needed. Hurricanes, I mean, you are the lower seed, but... I think in your defense can be stepped it up just a little bit. The Pirates were still aggressive coming out there. It might have taken them off guard a little bit. But there at the end, I mean, they did score first four goals, but Hurricanes seem to to not be on their back heels as much. Back heel defense is never good, uh, especially when trying to make last-second saves. You're never going to get that rotation clean enough to transition into offense. So if they want to go into the next game, open to take it back, take another series, or not go onto match point with the Pirates, they're going to turn that uh, transition around and make sure every clear is going to turn to a pass and maybe even offensive opportunity. Yeah, that's where the Hurricanes tend to be weak so far in the series is those transitions. Uh, they've been scored on multiple times last game and this game uh, on that transition to defense. So if they can clean that up a lot, they're going to be a lot better off and uh, they might not go down 6-0 to the Pirates. But they did win game number one. Let's see if they can pull out... Uh, a win here in game number three as we are tied up one all going into this here we go game three pirates win the kickoff tater takes it all the way into the hurricane corner unobstructed sets this one in front sets it in himself oh that's dirty tater come on doomsy dish like that all right off the kickoff saying i don't need anyone dish? else to touch this oh yeah that was a doomsy dish carried it that's off of the side well done. You don't see those very often, and especially the defense on the side wall usually clears those, but that came so far out, it was very hard to defend if yeah. you're hanging out there on the wall. And especially at a kickoff, that defensive rotation is not solidified. And Pirates, once again, right at the beginning, take advantage and get the lead. Exactly what I was going to say, but the Hurricanes are looking for something. But the Pirates making sure they stop them. No one's back in that. This could be an open opportunity, but no, the Hurricanes manage to get back just in time. But they do double commit, but manage to recover just in time. Aether sets this one up. Red sets this one in. Ace Pocket is there to get the save. Tater gets the pass. Bar down and out. Red's looking for the finish, but can't quite get there. This is just battering them. Look at this. Pirates, every time... Hurricanes make a touch on it. They're just throwing it right back into their green half. Pirates don't this, seem to cease at all. 
I think that right there might actually be the first time the ball has been in Pirates' half this whole game. Eat a minute in, and oof. That's all it takes, you know? Ouch. I mean, just a few seconds in that half, if you can make something of it. Ace Pocket does just that. Tater wants to shadow defense this. Ooh, He's a bit too much face to the far end. Ooh. That's Tater's rough. I don't think that. <laughs> I mean, you gotta make that, that save if you can. In that case, wasn't quite decent, but... You gotta try, but that's a feels bad moment. Tater now. He's gonna try and make up for that one, trying to send it into the Hurricanes half again, unable to get it too far. But Red manages to set it up. Aether sends it away. Tater looking to make sure it stays in. The Pirates beating the Hurricanes down now. Double commit on defense though, and that could be an opportunity for Red to come up and make a play on this. But he's not gonna get there. His ace pocket now free to carry this one out, but misses underneath. Aether gonna send it in. Ace Pocket set up. No one's back. A red sets this one up for Tater. Tater sends it in on the redirect. 2-1 for the Pirates. Okay, I saw Red pop this up all the way from his half and Tater go up. I'm like, there's no way he's going to catch up to that. Tater does. By God, I don't know how. Tater does it, what Tater does. He does, man. Touches it with his nose. It's power and accuracy. If he hadn't touched that, that was definitely getting saved. That was just a beautiful shot. The second one we've seen this game after that Doomsie dish. He's just on fire. Like you said, made up for that own goal. Unfortunate. Just getting the lead once again, shutting down the Hurricanes. Not as high scoring as the previous game, but definitely just as commanding by the black team. Yeah, they've just been peppering the goal for the Canes on the other side, but oh my god! Red with the excellent save just in time. My goodness, I thought for sure that one was be an opportunity. The Red predicted where that one was going to be shot, able to get in front of it. And then transition on the other side. It's getting out of those tough situations that Pirates has been so good at. And the Hurricanes, they've gotten to get out of a few of them, you know, transitioning especially. But their double commits and, and communication on defense hasn't been as conducent, which has led to a few goal opportunities. In this case, two goals for the Pirates. And right now, as we approach halftime, they're going to turn on the offense sooner or later. Or otherwise, they're going to look at match point and not what you want to see in a single elimination playoffs. It looks like they might be trying that now as they get the midfield cutoff effectively. Red, though, going to make sure it sends this back into the Hurricanes' back third. Double commit on defense. Aether sends this one away, but it might not be enough. Rolling in front of the net. Tater can't quite get it in either as Aether gets another save. But now the Pirates are double committed. Ace Pocket can't quite get it in, and now the Pirates are set up on defense. Ooh, those breakaways. Ace Pocket's got to be a little faster with that. Make sure his teammates are there with him. But keep the momentum. The speed of the ball has to pretty much be supersonic to beat out those last defenders. But look at this. Red the dunk. The dunk. Oh, my goodness. It's the red. We saw it in game two. And yet another one right here at midfield even. Welcome to the dunk house. That's what red says as he puts in a third. That is an excellent shot from red off of that dunk. And here we go. 3-1 now for the Pirates just crossing over the two minutes remaining part so hurricanes they have two minutes to get two i think they can do it but they're gonna have to put a lot more pressure on the pirates than they have been and they, they're starting off well on that on this one but oh aether the hesit the hesitation going into that one kind of lets the uh, the pirates come in and take that one away yeah because you know both red and tater they see a ball floating up like that and you're not directly next to it ready to make a play on it you're gonna push that very hard make sure you either touch the ball away from them they're going to take it right off your hood. That relentless pressure is very hard to play both offense and defense against. Clear it out of your half and try to make an infield passing play work. And so far, it's always, just always hanging out in this green half. The Pirates, I'm, I'm noticing that they're starting to go a little bit more on that defensive, uh, on that defensive stand part like they were in the latter half of last game. There's, they're letting one person say back farther and more often as Tater's going to get a nice shot in on the opposite post. They're going to go up 3-1 to one with less than a minute left. Some good accuracy here. Noticing Aether is caught on that sidewall. I'd say get grounded, but whenever you get caught on that post, it's hard to get right on the ground and try to defend it, especially when it's placed that well. Great shot. Gets the hat trick for himself and his team. Now at the minute left, doesn't look too hopeful for the Hurricanes team. Maybe we're looking at game four. But with three goals differential, it's still possible. Yeah, it's definitely still possible, but the Hurricanes are going to have to make something happen basically right now. They're going to have to bomb this downfield and hope it scores. Ace Pocket looking to do exactly that, but loses control of the dribble. Gets a nice little dunk on that one. Can he finish it off? No, Red's going to send it away, but it's in center for Aether. Aether's going to set one up and drill it in. 
possible. It's looking it's looking a little better for the Canes. I mean, 32 seconds and two goals. You score one within the next 31 seconds, and then you get a zero set goal. Definitely possible. Great shot there. Something they've been looking for a hole in that defense. They haven't seen very often. Able to get a dunk, a two dunks actually. Uh, there by uh, Ace Pocket, Nather finishing it off. Well done on defense. Seemed like an almost solo play, but his teammate needed to follow that one up, so it was a good job by them. Probably when I take some notes on that and try it again next game, that's what I'd say. Yeah. So now the Hurricanes trying to set this one up on offense again. They had enough, they had a couple opportunities, but they just didn't quite finish them off as the Pirates set it over to their side. They're going to have to do get out of this, get this out of here right now and send it over if they want any chance. But there it is the clock will expire and the pirates will take game number three and go up match point over the canes well hurricanes definitely made it closer pirates took the game but not as commanding as as game two uh we saw hurricanes starting to battle back get a little bit more possession but throughout the majority of that game the beginning and and majority through the middle except for that last minute i'd say Pirates scored those four goals, and they seemed to almost run away with it. Uh, as you mentioned, they played a bit more defensively, conservative, something you might want to do in the, in the playoffs. Um, but whenever you have that kind of a lead, as long as you can keep that and, and only let a few in, uh, you're going to secure the game. And, and if Hurricanes don't find an answer for this, some kind of counterattack or, or aggression increase their, their communication as far as double commits on, on both sides of the field, they, they need to clean that up, uh, make sure that they're talking with each other and saying, hey, I know this ball is going towards net, and I've, I've seen it a few times. The ball is going towards net, and there's there's a person out front. And the person behind them is clearly able to clear it and get a much better clear uh, past both of the Pirates' teammates. And instead, knowing that, not knowing that their teammate was behind them, they, they try to get the clear themselves. It's not as good of a touch. And then you give it right back up to the Pirates, something that they need to clean up coming into this next game, especially on match point. Yeah, communication has definitely been a bit of a problem visibly for the Hurricanes. By the way, we do have a bit of a correction to make. That uh, champion um, bracket you saw earlier, folks, was slightly wrong. The Dodgers did beat the Outlaws last night, so the so the winner of this game will face off against the uh, Pirates. Or sorry, the Dodgers next week. Here we go. Already into game number four. Hurricanes looking to get off to a much stronger start here. Is Ace Pocket's going to try and dribble this one in? Aether comes up a little bit fast. Ace Pocket's going to flip this one in. Aether has that one off of a double commit by the Pirates, and Hurricane's going to go up quick this time. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this was an aerial read. Right here, Aether goes up, reads that Tater's oh. going to hit this into him. That was beautiful. Exactly the kind of mind games you want to play. Intentional or not, that worked out wonderfully. Aether getting the gutsy call, and there was no one back because Ace Pocket was stuck in net. But it definitely turns out in their favor. In the first 20 seconds, instead of the Pirates, we see the Hurricanes. Whoa, the almost another jilt in from Aether, but Ace Pocket can't quite get there. He can't get the touch. Now the Pirates are going to have the opportunity to send this one away. Aether's going to send this one back in, though. The Hurricanes getting a much better offensive stand here as Ace Pocket is ready for this one. No, it gets gets stripped away by Red. Taylor looks for a shot, but Aether going to interfere, sends it into their own corner, and now they're going to have to try and deal with it. I'm still dealing with that <laughs> play <laughs> earlier. Aether able to make it in the box and settle it. But Ace Pocket accidentally rushes it a bit too much. That's okay. You got to shake that off. You still have the lead. Nothing you should wet your eyes about. But that security goal could mean so much and something they should fight for here in the next few minutes. And the Hurricanes are going to try and fight back now. The Aether sets this one in, gets a couple bumps onto Red, sets this one to center, but Ace Pocket isn't there. Ace Pocket is too far up still, and Red's going to set one all the way across. That one's, I'd say, a little bit of a lucky hit there to get the clear, and we've talked about Ace Pocket chilling in midfield, not pushing as much. In that case, even though he was at midfield, it didn't mean a whole lot. That one was too fast, too accurate. So if those aren't going to be able to be saved by hanging out there, I think Ace Pocket should push up a bit more. Maybe make sure that ball doesn't get into the hands of Red and get a clear like that next time. But either way, it's still tied. Hurricane's definitely in it. But they're looking at that last life right now. Yeah, they need to get something going here. But here we go. The Pirates going to set this one in. Red sends it into the Hurricane corner. Ace Pocket sets it right back out. Potato puts a shot on net. Red was looking for either a redirect or a bump on Aether. And, his, and as a result, he gets neither one. Ace Pocket trying to set this one away, but can't deal with it. Aether comes out, can't get the read, but off the pass from Tater, Red gets the goal. That was just Tater throwing it very fast off the sidewall and Red being able to read it. 
Ace pocket, that rotation not quite as clean as I'd like to see. Uh, rotating back around your corner, or giving your teammate a little bit more than hanging out that near post. Uh, but it's that defense that needs to hold strong. It's just that fast pace you need to, to capitalize on. Make sure none of those opportunities manifest themselves. Tater almost got a nice quick kickoff goal for the Pirates. That would have that would have felt good for them. Give them a little bit of an insurance goal. But now the Hurricanes have the offensive possession. Ace Pocket's gonna try and dribble this one in front. It goes in front. Is Aether there? He's there, but it's sent away by Tater. Ace Pocket's ready for it, and he will put it into the bottom left corner, and we're tied up again. There's that redemption. I could miss this aerial. Another dunk by Aether setting up the off the backboard touch down into the box. And <laughs> I think that's what it was, is previously the open net was like Ace Pocket just, just kind of froze. But in there, he's like, okay, I got to beat out this defender. Let me get a pass him. But as I say that, the quick response right off the wow. kickoff, we saw this earlier by Red, and Tater said, let me try it. Pushing up seems to be their MO for the Pirates. Yeah, the Pirates, they just go for the stop there. Tater's ready for it. That was planned the entire time. And here we are. Pirates up again, about to go into halftime. The stop happens again. Tater was not there for it. Maybe the Hurricanes trying that one this time. Is Red's going to send this one away off the stop from Tater. That's it upfield. The Hurricanes getting into position. Now they're there. They're going to try and send this one away. The Pirates going to have to beat down through their offense. Or sorry, defense. Excuse me. It seems like Red able to pass the center, but Tater wasn't willing to push that one. Oh, my. Oh, Red. <laughs> I was I was talking like that wasn't gonna happen because I was like, there's no way Red's gonna be able to challenge this. Aether has to clear, but the aerial dunk and then that's calculated right there. He read it perfectly. Totally, he totally meant to do that. <laughs> exactly where it was going. He's like, I gotta get this security goal for my team. It's gonna be so flashy. Play of the week right there. Definitely a nominee. Hashtag MLEPOTW for the nominations. Tater tries to send this one in, but Ace Pocket gonna send it away. Now the Hurricanes have it in the Pirates half. Red gonna try and send this one in, but, but Aether knows exactly where it's going. Looking to get one into center. Fakes out Tater, but Red not fool. He's gonna send it away again into their own corner. Now, now Aether has a chance to put this one on target. Not fast enough, and Red does manage to get the save. Now Tater, he's going to try for the air dribble, but gets bumped away by Ace Pocket. Aether tries to send this one in, but Red on the defensive rotations is there. This is great. More and more pressure. Just throwing the ball on net. Hurricane's doing a great job. Got to believe eventually one of these is going to go in and make it just a bit closer. But a two-goal differential is definitely not hard to come back passes. from in the doubles. And they're getting those passes, as you said, a lot more than we've seen previous games. Yeah, the Hurricanes making that teamwork make the dream work at least trying to ace pocket sets this one up sets this one up for aether aether's there can aether get there in time no he can't ace pocket set that one up uh, thought that it would be an open net for his teammate let him have it too but aether wasn't quite there didn't have the boost to catch up to it they want to get another shot at that one yeah. But the ball still, it's remaining in the black half. And this seems like a totally different offense from the Hurricanes than we've seen. Yeah, they're definitely lighting up, but it might be too little too late unless they get something going right here, right now. The Pirates are up by two, and Tater's going to have an open net opportunity at this, and that will roll on its way in. Three goals in 34 seconds is going to be a very difficult task for the Hurricanes. Yeah, that is possibly the nail in the coffin with Red, making sure he got that 50-50 just in case there was the touch there. Instead, let's Tater take it, and whenever you're pushing that much for the green team, you don't have very many options, 34 seconds left, you got to go for those. So I say that was the right choice, but if you can't make it happen, that's going to be a goal on the other side of the field. Oh, nice flick by Red. And that will be the nail in the coffin. It looks like the Pirates will be sending the Canes home for the season. Behind the rotating defender, I'm going to be talking about it all the time, but whenever you're Defenders comes flying across the net trying to defend it, you know, just play at that near post all over to the right side And that one's gonna get him almost every time as we see the prize do it And we've seen a bunch of pressure from the Hurricanes and yet here we are. Hey, there's one. Hey, I mean 20 seconds one. three goals You, you never it's, know. It's it's definitely possible Just unlikely They're gonna have to do more of that. They're gonna have to get those kick those kickoff goals. I think uh, last night we saw two 
goals by the same team in, I think it was, what, 10 seconds? So it's possible. Definitely. Aether sets this one up. Sets this one on, but Ooh. it's not on target. Ace Pocket comes up and cleans it up. Okay, dude. Two goals All right. in 12 seconds. All right. Did they get this. I'm calling uh, greatest comeback in history. Don't call it a comeback right here. <laughs> Don't call it a comeback. All right. Four goals in 20 seconds. Come on, Canes. Let's see if you can do this. Ace Pocket takes the kickoff. Red is there for it. Sets it almost into the net. The Hurricanes are gonna do something with it right here, right now. If they want to do anything, if they want to make this comeback happen, Red puts it on target, and that'll basically be it. That is a shame. Pirates sealing the deal. Two seconds left. Didn't need to put it in, but hey, you know, pad the stats a little bit. But that will definitely be it. Three goals cannot be scored in two seconds. Fortunately, can't break those laws of Rocket League physics. But with that one, it's gonna mean Pirates take the series. 3-1 to one above the Hurricanes. Expected, that's what the bracket was predicting as most of you guys wanted it to happen so you guys can breathe a sigh of relief. But they're going to move on play against the Dodgers in the semifinals. That's going to be our last quarterfinals game for the Orange Conference. Later on tonight, we're going to see the last one for the, the, the Blue Conference. But for now, it's going to be it between the Pirates yep. and the Hurricanes. Well done, both of these teams. I think they did a great job. And the and like you said, the Pirates will be facing the Dodgers next week in the semifinals, but the Hurricanes will be going home for the season. Great games by both of these teams, though. So hopefully we'll see more from the Hurricanes next season. As I'm sure we'll see Ace Pocket and Aether both back here. But we're going to be taking a short little break here for a little bit, folks. But before we go, we'd like to remind you about our sponsors, uh, Balls Garana, which has the absolute best caffeine heavy soda that there is around. Crisp, cool, and packed with as we say, caffeine is fuel for fun. And they're also a replay sponsor for season eight as well. And uh, if you go to MLE sports dot GG slash recommend slash balls, you can order yourself some. And also we'd like to remind you all about our power a giveaway from power a controllers happening tonight at 9 PM. We will be giving away one of those controllers. If you'd like to enter all the information is in the panels below and you can go there and enter. But we'll be back in a few minutes with our next game. Who do we have up next, Weasel? It appears that we have, give me one second, Puffins versus the Ducks of yeah, the Academy League. Academy League, Ducks versus Puffins. Don't miss it, folks. We'll be right back. <laughs> 